today with tips on how you can jazz up those traditional pancakes. It's our guest chef, Lisa Louis Shields, who's going to try, try to make some great pancakes here because you've got some different variations. Different variations. Sound like, pretty wow. delicious. And your grandma pointer is an absolute best. <laughs> oh. You know, I, I do. Every Saturday morning when we would stay the night, she would make us pancakes. Mm -hmm. And I cannot replicate them because... I don't know. I just am not doing it right. But don't you also feel like the very first batch are always bad? To me, the first batch are always... Oh, is it just me? It's for the dog. <laughs> they just never or look Or I good. end up with them. Exactly. exactly. Okay. But, well, yes. let's talk about different types of pancakes and the different um, kind of um, tweak it and make it your own exactly. kind of things that we exactly. can do. So I think first up we have our... Um, Hold on, what was it? Your variations. So instead of oil, what can instead we do? Instead of oil, we can do applesauce or we can do banana or okay. melted butter. How would you do a banana? Like a one mashed banana? One mashed banana, yes. Instead of the oil? Instead of the oil. Or um, a third of a cup of applesauce. And your little to-go cups are the right size. So if you buy applesauce in the little to-go cups, okay. that's the perfect size. Oh, and now instead of water, here are some yes. other things you can try adding. Oh, my. It's, oh, my. It's endless. Instead of water, you can do buttermilk. You can do regular milk. Did you know that you could use your coffee creamers? Ooh, that would make it nice and rich you and could, decadent. You could do heavy whipping cream or half and half. You could add a yogurt, so you could add a goat yogurt or a oat yogurt or a non-dairy yogurt. watching your dairy intake. If you're watching your dairy intake, yes. What's your so, go-to? What do you use? Is it a secret? No, no. <laughs> Even though I'm lactose intolerant, I will tolerate a pancake. I will tolerate, you know, that type of thing. So it's like what, I like the buttermilk because I like that more sour, more yeah. homey, you know. I like taste. them fluffy. You like I, them fluffy? I, I struggle with getting them the right, like, consistency. So you're going to like yours because getting them fluffy, you use your pancake mix, whether it be scratch or what have you, and you add a cake cake a little bit of cake mix a third of a cup of cake yes and it becomes fluffy really you know aren't like funnel cakes just glorified pancakes pretty much yeah kind of i i need even though i cook and what have you i prefer the county fair uh, well, exactly. <laughs> the county fair corn dogs, the county fair brats with... Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we are making homemade from scratch pancakes today. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to go the box route and you want to get all fancified... But yours does have a little bit of the cake mix in it. Oh, okay, so, so what fluffy. are we... How are we making them today? It will be today? fluffy. Um, and then for you, I added a little flavoring. You said pick and I, I wanted said, to surprise say, me. Surprise, so we're going to do that. But on the bar ones, we're going to do the buttermilk and the regular. A bar? What are you talking you about? You do a bar pan, and then on top of it... You this can, is called a bar pan? Well, a sheet pan, a jelly roll pan, a bar pan. I just called it a cookie sheet. Well, wow. it has sides, so it's, it's not I technically a cookie no sheet. I had no idea you called it yeah. a bar pan. So then on each corner, and in the middle, you can add your different... Um, whether it be strawberries or blueberries or tomatoes or some ham or some cheese and then you cut it and you're like okay here's yours here's yours here's your portion with the blueberries and, here. and here's your yeah okay something else I was reading is you can also make savory pancakes that somehow does not seem right with sour cream and tomatoes and anytime you have ham or you have mushrooms that's a savory it's not a sweet but with pancakes mm -hmm. and we're gonna make some Pancakes with ham and, and mushrooms inside the pancake. Yes. Interesting. Yes. Okay. So, but then, you know, we have some mushrooms and we have different things, and so you can just divvy it up to what you want. Okay. And you've got a little... And then also... Oh, sorry. Okay. Make, make them ahead of time and freeze them. Oh, because they can go in the toaster. They can go in the toaster. They can go in the microwave. They can go back in the oven. They can do whatever. Wow. So always, you know, make a bunch and okay. freeze them. Okay. I saw some really cool things here on the counter that I wanted to make sure we talked about. The cinnamon toast crunch. Is and, that not wicked? What is that? This is 
the cinnamon or the berry tastic because it's got the Captain Crunch berries in it. That's pancakes? That's pancakes. And then Is cinnamon that... toast crunch pancakes? Yes. Yum. And then you can add Twix to your mix. Oh my word. And cinnamon toast crunch spread like the Nutella. So good. Okay, I cannot wait to try these. I mean, it's I crazy love, out there. I pancakes. cannot say that they're non cal cal <laughs> right. calorific. May but not be uh, the Healthiest, the healthiest choice. No, but yes. But, but it would be fun. In moderation. Yeah. Like that. And then you can do your pancakes and then add your sauces and your cheese and your egg and make a, a griddle. <laughs> yeah. A griddle sandwich. You can do whatever. There are so many endless options. And those freeze comes. well too. I bet they do. Okay, well, yeah. we're going to heat our griddle up here. We're going to yeah. um, get some pancakes going. And if you want to see all of Lisa's tips and tricks, be sure to head to CILiving.tv. Give her a like on Facebook or TikTok.